what's up you guys welcome back to yet another video if you are new welcome so in today's video i wanted to test out a few new makeup products um i did pick up a few of the new alamar cosmetics cream blushes so we will test that out in today's video i did have two new eyeshadow palettes i picked up the italian spritz from too faced this is their newest eyeshadow palette launch so i did pick this one up but in today's video, I did opt to use the new Huda Beauty Matte Obsessions Cool Tone Palette. So this is what we went in with today. Um, also, the new Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Mattified, Mattifying Setting Spray. I did go ahead and pick that one up. Spoiler, I love it. Um, I actually tested it out yesterday because I just kind of wanted to see what it was given before I review with it and then also I did pick up five of the new Morphe Soul Matte Velvet Lip Mousse Lipsticks so gorgeous shades I do swatch them I also do some lip swatching and then I only picked up one of the Morphe Soul Matte Lip Liners in the shade other half which is like they're only brown um I don't personally like different color like red or you know lighter lip liners won't look right on me the only other color lip liner I personally like is like a berry or like plum burgundy type of shade and I typically go for that when I'm wearing a red lipstick or something sometimes some pinky lipsticks I could get away with that color lip liner but anywho that is it for the intro i don't want to be too long um but don't forget oh real quick i'm finally testing out the new kvd good apple full coverage serum foundation i did pick mine up in the shade 63 so i do test that out in today's video as well i am late to the party but might as well wait while we have everything um don't forget to hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below of some more products that you would like to see me review or some different ideas as far as videos that you guys would like to see and without further ado let's go ahead and jump into today's video right, y'all so the eyes are primed i am definitely going to zoom you in I honestly use too much eyeshadow primer and I just went in with my Juvia's Place I Prep I Prime in the shade number one. So I have two palette choices for today. This new Italian, is it Spritz palette by Too Faced. So to me, this is very pretty. Um, I don't know. This was definitely an impulse buy. I just picked this up because they finally had it in store at Ulta. Did not need it. Uh, or should I go ahead and just test out the Huda Beauty um, Matte Obsession Cool Tone Palette? So I kind of wanted to do Too Faced only because I have not seen many reviews on that palette. I don't know. I'm undecided. But we'll see or maybe I can just mix the two. Alright you guys. So I'm just going to point to each shade that I use in today's video um obviously we know that there are no names on huda beauty smaller palettes but for the most part obviously we're doing a very simple look and this is all matte palette so um just keeping it very very simple to the point nothing special i hope you guys have had an amazing start to your week so far um yeah everything has been looking up for us over here um my oldest who i mentioned a few videos back that uh is autistic he just had to go for a reevaluation like an ados reevaluation and that's pretty much like an autism evaluation uh but it's been quite a few years since his doctor had seen him so we kind of did that yesterday which as you know those appointments can last for up to 2 hours so I'm kind of glad for now some of the appointments are kind of, you know, it's it's kind of, you know, I don't know. Um, They do want to start him on like additional like occupational therapy. Um, He does have another speech evaluation next, you no, know, in two weeks. But um, I think I'm going to wait for summertime to start him on those because I just feel bad. Um, Honestly, pulling him out of school, I just don't really, I don't want to do it like that. 
But so far, everything has been going good. Um, He's been good. And shout out to all the mommies and daddies out there that have to, um, you know, that we have these special babies. It can be hard. And, you know, sometimes, especially if they are nonverbal, um, it's just kind of hard to know how to help them and, and what to do. So I'm just praying for your strength and we will get through it. Okay. We will definitely get through it. So, um, all in all, going back to this eyeshadow palette, I do like it. I think it's pretty. I'm glad that I have it in my collection. Um, it's not something that I would say is necessary, but it's still a nice looking palette. If, if you ask my personal opinion, yes, I would say go get it, but it's not necessary. <laughs> All right, you guys. So to prime, I'm going to go in the T-zone with the Milk Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer, the perimeter of the face. I'm going in with the e.l.f. Niacinamide Power Grip Primer. Um, I do have the new Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Setting Spray. I also have that. And then I did go ahead and finally pick up the new KVD foundation. I wasn't going to get it. But we will try it out in this video. Um, I honestly really think that this palette is beautiful. It's perfect. I feel like this one is more realistic for like everyday wear. Not to say that the warm palette isn't. But I just kind of feel like, like I said before, I have so many warm tone palettes. But I feel like this looks beautiful on the eyes. Everything blended well together. So definitely I will use the Too Faced one in my next video. I won't probably do as much talking because the little one is woke. So um, let me go ahead and prime. I also have the full size of this one, but I'm like, I really need to use this one up because this was not a primer that I was reaching for often. But I'm just going to go ahead and prime and then I will let this sit for a few minutes before we jump into the foundation. So really quick, again, this is the KVD Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation. I did pick mine up in the shade Tan 63. So I'm hoping it's not too deep because I heard, you know, I heard some people say it does oxidize. I'm not 100% sure. But it says this is a lightweight all-day wear, transfer resistant, quiche leaf, or is it quench leaf, quench leaf extract to help mattify. So we're going to go ahead and apply this and I'll just kind of give you a little bit more on the foundation as I apply. All right, y'all. So this foundation is the KVD Good Apple Full Coverage Transfer Proof Vegan Serum Foundation. I do have mine in the shade Tan 63. This does retail for $42. It is a full coverage natural finish, best for oily combo and normal skin types. Um, it just says it's a lightweight full coverage serum foundation that blends and bends with skin for a natural seamless finish transfer proof wear. So I feel like this shade honestly worked out perfectly. Um, I initially was between this one and tan 60, but I'm glad I did pick this one up. I feel like a little bit goes a long way with this foundation. As you can see, it does dry kind of quickly, but I don't think that it is anything too crazy to where you won't be able to blend out the foundation. But overall, I really do like the foundation. I feel like it does look good on the skin. And I am just going to apply one more pump at least to the face to kind of give a little bit more coverage to certain areas. But so far, so good. I do know that they also released a primer with this foundation. But I just personally didn't see the need to purchase it because it was just another poor filling type of primer. And from the looks of it, um, I actually watched Juicy Jazz do a review and she said it was pretty much kind of like the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Primer. So the primer that launched with this foundation, I decided to opt out for that particular reason.
All right, y'all, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Radiant Skin, whatever it's called. This is the concealer. I just kind of feel like this concealer came and went. Um, I honestly feel like I used it maybe once and that was it. So I definitely wanted to just pull it out and use it again. We're trying to use up our makeup here, you guys. Um, so far, so good. I feel like you do have to let this concealer sit in order to get the full coverage you want. All right, y'all, before I blend out my concealer, um, I did finally also get in my Alomar Cosmetics. These are the liquid blushes. So I did get three shades. i say you later, which the color of the flower is pretty more the pretty much the shade of the um the blush so this is very they are very pigmented i did swatch them um i can actually try to do that for you guys now but this one i think i'm gonna hold off for today um so this is pretty much kind of like that charlotte tilbury <gasps> vibe um you squeeze it you can lock it unlock it this one actually came out a little runny. All right, so as y'all can see how pigmented that one is. Fresh as a daisy, I guess that's how you see it. But this is the most pinkiest tone that I picked up. And then let that mango, it's like a orangey, peachy curl shade so I guess we'll go in I'm going to actually shake because I don't know if you can hear it it is very liquidy and I'm sorry if I'm out of breath but I had to go put on bubble guppies I'm telling you it's it's a lot yeah this is just very watery like as you can see and like I said this is the more pinky wearable shades so I'm just gonna actually rub this out with my hand and a lot comes out like look at that so I am going to take the brush that uh, launched with this one and I'm just gonna pick a little bit up on here kind of smudge it out and go for it but it can definitely become very messy I mean this is very pretty I don't know if you can kind of see a little goes a long way I don't see any patchiness this is a very pretty color but like I said a little goes a long way and when I look at how much just came out off barely squeezing it I feel like you're wasting product it's just my personal opinion so because of that, they're nice, they're pretty. I just don't think that, you know, I do feel like, like I said, I just wasted a nice amount of product and I didn't even squeeze that much out. So I don't think this would be a product that I would personally, personally repurchase. I still have that much left and I don't even need that. So not ideal as far as how fast it was coming out of that container let me go ahead and spray my face again with my Too Faced I've been liking this um, mixing this with a mattifying setting spray I feel like it just kind of helps lock my makeup in a lot longer so I'm just gonna quickly spray my face so I can blend out my concealer Hey, you guys, I had a situation. So I don't know if it was the Kosas 
a cloud set or what but I had to girl my NARS pressed powder the soft matte pressed powder in the shade bay had to kind of come save the day and clean it up i also did i don't think it got the clip of it but i tried to use dark tan mineralized skin finish by mac as a bronzer i don't i'm hoping you can kind of tell that there's something there i personally um don't see the hype in the mac Bronzer, I did try to buy the shade Give Me Sun, but when I swatched it in store, it just looked a little bit too light for a bronzer for me. So, um, yeah, but anywho, let's keep going. All right, it's been a morning. My whole container with all my eyebrushes just fell, but let's just keep rolling. Blush, I'm using the Crayon Case Blush Binder. Y'all, if I record this outro one more time, I've had a morning. Let's get it over with. <laughs> um, the Huda Beauty Matte Obsessions Cool Tone Palette. I personally like it. I feel like the mattes blended very well. Um, you have to take into consideration that this is a more of a high-end brand. So I know a lot of people don't really care to spend $29 on something so small. But I feel like this one is more, 
if you're going to buy one of her new palettes, I say try the cool tone one. I know some people don't feel like cool tone shadows look good on their skin tone, but I personally really do like it. I feel like with a lot of other palettes that we have, we have so many warm tone shades that this one just kind of works better. It's good to kind of have something different in your collection. In regards to the KVD Full Coverage Serum Foundation, 10 out of 10, I do feel like a little bit goes a long way. Um... I feel like it gave me the coverage that I needed. It looks good. I'm glad that I finally gave this a chance because I really wasn't going to pick this up at first. I was just kind of, that's why I had not done a review because I was just like back and forth like, do I want it? Am I going to use it? Am I going to like it? But it's like you won't know until you buy it. So really glad that I got my hands on it and tried it out. I never tried the Good Apple Balm Foundation and... I think it was because it was so many bad reviews, obviously, from people with oily combo skin, which is what I have. So um, I'm kind of glad to see this, and I can't wait to see how long this holds up and wears. In regards to the Alamar Cosmetics Liquid Blushes, it's a no for me. Mm. Just a little bit too runny, and like I said, I feel like a lot of product was wasted with this Um it's just not ideal for me. It's not a personal preference of something that I like. It was pigmented. There was no patchiness. It went on perfectly as you guys saw. But it's just not... Like I said, just too much product was wasted. And just too messy for me. Um, the Morphe Lip Liner and Soul Matte Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. 10 out of 10 I recommend. I believe they came out with 10 shades um, and I believe that there's a lip liner to go along with every color liquid velvet lip mousse. Um, they are soft and comfortable on the lips. They are just, they're comfortable. They're nice. They look good. I like them. $12. You cannot beat it. As far as the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Mattifying um, setting spray. I actually used this yesterday. I wanted to test it out before filming today and I had my makeup on literally over 10 hours. Um, he is just talking. Um, but I really do feel like it held my makeup up very well. I don't feel like I noticed any separation. I was not overly oily by the end of the day. Of course, naturally with us oily skin, sometimes we mainly see the oils peeking through like in the corners of our nose. And even with that, it was very faint. It wasn't just overly just like greasy or anything like that. And it's crazy because yesterday I used a lot of glowy facial products. So I was very surprised that it held those products up well. Um, but overall, I, I feel like I pulled the look off. I feel like it came together. It was a tough one for me. There were a lot of distractions in today's video. Um, but I'm glad we, we, we pushed through. We made it to the end. So definitely let me know what you guys think of these products. Let me know if you're going to pick up anything that uh, was new that I, I used in today's video. And with that being said, you guys, stay safe, be blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.